hello welcome to my youtube channel my name is maria mwanga if you're new to this channel you are struggling to lose weight and you are searching for reliable tips for healthy weight loss journey or healthy eating lifestyle you are at the right place click the subscribe button then turn on the notification bell for more updates before you start weight loss journey there are important concepts that you need to remind yourself that are directly related to your health and today i'm going to talk about the first and most important subject which is nutrition keep watching and mark mistakes you made in your previous journey and prepare for a new weight loss plan i'm going to avoid being very technical to allow everybody to understand the concept clearly Nutrition is simply the study of what we eat, I mean food, and how it works in our body. There is no way you can avoid this concept if you are planning to lose weight, maintaining body weight, or starting a healthy eating lifestyle. Nutrients. These are compounds which are found in, f in the food that we eat every day. Despite that you want to lose weight, you must eat all the nutrients your body needs in a day. The choices and quantity of nutrients are the ones which are going to determine your weight. However, this is not an excuse to skip some of the nutrients or starve if you really want a successfully health weight loss. There are six nutrients your body needs in a daily base, which are divided into macros, and micros. The macros are needed in high amount in our body because they provide us with energy and calories, while the micros are needed in a small amount because they do not give us calories and energy, and you can even consume them when you eat the macros. But this does not restrict us to consider the micros because each nutrient has functions in our body. When we talk about micros, we mean all the minerals, all the water source, we are talking about all the the vitamin source those are the meat while the macros consist of carbohydrates consists of protein and fat I'm going to elaborate more about macros because they are highly needed in our body but the, we can also find macros within the macros with the macro nutrients we have a fat we have protein and we have carbohydrates in this video we are going to discuss about carbohydrates and everything about carbohydrates Carbohydrates are a source of our body energy. Take an example of a phone and a charger. For a phone to work, battery must be full. Likewise, for a proper function of our body, internal and external, we need carbohydrate as a source of energy to perform different activities in our daily life, such as walking, sleeping, breathing, doing physical exercises, and digestion. All this needs carbohydrates in order to perform. You have been heard that some of the carbs are good while some are bad. Really this is not simple. There are two main sources of carbohydrates. Some are natural occurring. You can find them in whole grain, whole wheat and vegetables. While others are processed or refined. They are either lacking or tripped in nutrients. Here's the deal. Consuming carbs, which are natural or carrying source, may protect you from diseases and may even help you in your weight loss journey because they are very rich in fiber, vitamins, and minerals, whereby the processed or refined carbs can bring you very, very close to heart disease, diabetes type 2, or weight gain. Let's take examples of refined and uh, natural source. Uh, carbohydrates. Here are two grains. The left side is natural source grain which is not removed uh, the outer part and the core while the white grain is refined. So we are advised to use the whole grain, the left side grain. This is for all the carbs grains. Let's take another example. Here are natural sourced vegetables while the left side are processed so we advise to use the natural sources another last example the fruits are natural sources while the juice bottled juice are refined so we are advised to use the fruits which are natural source if you want a healthy eating lifestyle and a successful weight loss plan there are three types of carbs simple carbs which is sugar complex carb which is starch and fiber we do eat carbohydrate in general they are changed to glucose aka sugar within our body while the fibers does not change into sugar but they are healthy carbs 
These have been proven to be good for healthy heart and weight loss management. There are so many sources of complex carbs, but to mention few, we have grains, we have uh, potatoes, we have uh, uh, maize, we have wheat, we have whole grains, we have peas. All these are sources of uh, complex carbs or starch. While simple carbs are found on in fruits, different types of uh, fruits like those the berries we have apples to mention few you can also find in dairy products pineapples bananas grapes oranges and also pineapples and mangoes all these can provide the simple carbs and you can get fibers from different sources such as broccoli you get fibers from avocados you get them from nuts and all that you can see in the dashboard but we can also uh, find carbohydrates from green leaves vegetables eh? as you've seen them in the dashboard you can find carbohydrates from different vegetables if you can see them in the dashboard you can find carbohydrate from different fruits as you can see them in the dashboard all these are natural occurring source of carbohydrates now let's see the top rated healthy carbs which are also recommended for weight loss journey we have black beans we have whole wheat pasta potatoes oats whole bread lentils brown rice sweet potato all this and the vegetables all these are top rated recommended carb for weight loss journey so coming videos i'll take you to my kitchen and show you how to prepare different healthy carb recipe for body weight loss and healthy eating in general make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you cannot miss the recipes let's talk about the importance of carbohydrate the main importance of carbohydrate is to provide energy but also carbohydrate helps to promote digestive health because carbohydrates are rich in fiber and they have been proven to be healthy in the digestion system you will understand more when we discuss about metabolism and digestion process carbohydrates also in preserving our muscles when carbohydrates are available uh, the body uses carbohydrate as source of energy and when carbohydrate is unavailable the body uses our muscle as source of energy after looking at the main functions of carbohydrates in our body when you eat less than the required carbohydrate you become weak because carbohydrate is the source of um, our body energy along with the weakened body you will feel bad breath headache fatigue deficiency in vitamin because carbohydrate is rich in vitamin nausea constipation and difficulty in concentration what will happen if you consume more than the required carbs you will have high blood sugar because carbohydrates are broken down into sugar so when you eat more processed carbs your body will get more energy and more than 60 percent of daily carbohydrate your liver will think it's time to make more cholesterol which will make more cholesterol in your blood that will lead to heart disease if you eat more than the required carbs your blood sugar will raise and your body will make uh, will make more insulin which will tell your body to save extra glucose or sugar as fat in your body which will also lead to weight gain and can even cause heart problems let's check at this final and uh, determine the quantity of carbs that you are supposed to take in your daily intake but this this is not restricted to everyone your consumptions of carbs depends on your health depends on your background depend on your targets but generally simple carbs must be more than all other nutrients followed by complex carbs followed by protein followed by healthy fats every nutrient have functions in our body today we we, we, we discussed about carbohydrates in our coming video we are going to discuss about protein and, and healthy fats before we start our health our, our, our healthy weight loss journey after reminding ourselves about carbohydrates importance of carbohydrate in our body or functions of carbohydrate in our body impact of carbohydrates of overdoing carbohydrates and effect of not consuming 
carbohydrate or less consuming of carbohydrate or insufficient consuming of carbohydrate you can now think very wisely before choosing no carbohydrate diet because at the end of the day instead of losing weight you are going to face uh, impact of not consuming enough carbohydrates this brings us to the conclusions that even though you want to lose weight you must consume all the necessary nutrients that your body needs in a day which are the macro nutrients and the micro nutrients and even if you succeed on your journey of weight loss by cutting down the carbohydrates in your meal it is not going to be a promising weight loss and when you gain some uh, some more weight it won't be easy for you to go back to your to your normal uh, weight no more expected weight thank you for your time make sure you watch my next videos about subjects you need to remind yourself before starting healthy eating lifestyle and weight loss journey which are protein nutrients fat nutrients digestion and metabolism then after all these content you will be ready for your, your weight loss journey or healthy eating journey bye bye